Yay, the box is on, fastened. I'll show you the batteries in one second. There's the outboard motor. It is all mounted and ready to go. It is not plugged in. I don't have the steering on. That's what I'm gonna work on today. But I got it all mounted here. There's the company. We'll talk a lot more about this motor. I'm gonna take, in the long video, I'm gonna take this cap off. I'm gonna show you the electric motor. I don't know why it's so hard to actually find information about electric outboard motors. Here are the batteries. Check this out. I've got all the room over here for all the electronics. The power and stuff should go through that hole right there. In the previous video, you saw where I whacked that off. There's all the terminals. We'll get more of a picture of that. And we're gonna label, we're gonna label each one of these, and I'm gonna name each one too, A, B, and C. Now I know you all have a question if I was going to do a capacity test. I do not have the the hardware to do a capacity test on these batteries. I would love to. And a shameless plug, if somebody would like to send the hardware, whatever I need to do a capacity test on these, I'll do it. And just tell me what software I need. I just don't have the hardware to do. But I would like to do a capacity test on these. They're supposed to have 250 amp hours on it. All I have left to do is cut a hole in here somewhere for the motor uh, battery, motor cables to come in and then go right to the batteries. All right, well, let's get started on the long video.